Welcome back to Old Coins Prices. Today, we're going to delve into the value of a specific coin, the 2000p Jefferson nickel. Before we dive into its value, let's quickly go over some background information about the 2000p Jefferson nickel. This coin was minted in the year 2000 at the Philadelphia Mint and features Thomas Jefferson on the obverse side and Monticello on the reverse side. There are several factors that can affect the value of a 2000p Jefferson nickel. These include its condition, rarity, and any special characteristics it may have. The condition of a coin plays a significant role in determining its value. Coins that are in mint condition or have minimal wear and tear tend to be more valuable than those that are heavily circulated or damaged. Rarity is another crucial factor in determining a coin's value. If the 2000p Jefferson nickel has a low mintage or if there are any errors or varieties, it could be worth more to collectors. Market demand also influences the value of a coin. If there is high demand from collectors or investors for the 2000p Jefferson nickel, its value may increase. As of the value of a 2000p Jefferson nickel in high up condition ranges from however, it's essential to keep in mind that coin values can fluctuate over time, so it's always a good idea to stay updated with the latest market trends. In conclusion, the 2000p Jefferson nickel can hold significant value especially if it's in excellent condition, rare, or has any unique characteristics. If you're interested in collecting coins, be sure to do your research and consult with experts to determine the value of your specific coin. This coin value in market $1 million. That's all for today's video. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more coin-related content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. We're diving into the world of coin collecting to explore the value of a specific gem, the 1986D Jefferson nickel. Now you might be wondering, why focus on this particular year and mint mark? Well, the 1980 60 Jefferson nickel holds a special place in the hearts of collectors due to its unique characteristics and scarcity. First off, let's talk about the design. The obverse features Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States while the reverse showcases Monticello, his historic Virginia estate. But what truly sets this coin apart is its mint mark. The D mint mark indicates that it was minted in Denver, Colorado. And as many collectors know, coins from certain mints tend to be rarer than others. So, how much is the 1986 D Jefferson nickel worth today? Well, it depends on various factors such as its condition, rarity, and demand in the market. In general, a 1986 D Jefferson nickel in circulated condition may fetch anywhere from a few cents to a dollar. However, if you happen to stumble upon one in mint condition or with certain errors, its value could skyrocket. Remember, proper storage and handling can significantly impact the value of your coins. So, if you're serious about collecting, invest in quality holders and avoid cleaning them at all costs. This coin value in market $1 million. And there you have it folks, the fascinating world of the 1986D Jefferson Nickel. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more coin collecting tips and insights. Thanks for watching and we're diving into the world of numismatics to uncover the value of a classic coin, the 1974 Liberty 1 cent. The 1974 Liberty 1 cent holds a special place in American coinage history. With its iconic design featuring the profile of Abraham Lincoln on the obverse and the Lincoln Memorial on the reverse, this coin is not only a piece of currency but also a piece of art. Before we delve into its value, let's take a brief look at the historical context of this coin. The 1974 penny was minted during a time of economic change and cultural shifts in the United States. It's a reminder of a pivotal era in American history. Now, let's talk about what determines the value of a 1974 Liberty 1 cent. Several factors come into play, including its condition, rarity, and demand among collectors. The condition of a coin plays a significant role in its value. Coins in mint condition, with minimal wear and tear, are typically more valuable than those that have been heavily circulated. Rarity is another crucial factor. While millions of 1974 pennies were minted, Certain variations or errors can make specific coins rarer and more valuable than others. Lastly, 
the demand among collectors can greatly influence the value of a coin. Coins that are highly sought after due to their historical significance or unique features can fetch higher prices in the market. To determine the value of your 1974 Liberty One Cent, I recommend consulting with reputable coin dealers, checking online marketplaces, or using specialized coin collecting websites. Remember to consider all factors mentioned earlier when assessing its worth. In conclusion, the 1974 Liberty One Cent is more than just a piece of currency. It's a piece of history. Whether you're a seasoned collector or a casual enthusiast, exploring the world of coin collecting can be both rewarding and educational. This coin value in market $1 million. That's all for today's video. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more coin related videos. We're delving into the intriguing world of numismatics to uncover the value of a specific coin, the 1979 Liberty One Cent coin. Before we dive into its value, let's understand a bit about the coin itself. The 1979 Liberty One Cent coin features a striking design with the iconic image of Lady Liberty on the obverse and the Lincoln Memorial on the reverse. 1979 was a significant year in American history, marked by various events and cultural shifts. Understanding the historical context can sometimes add to the allure and value of a coin from that year. The value of any coin, including the 1979 Liberty One Cent coin, heavily depends on its condition. Factors such as wear, scratches, and overall appearance play a crucial role in determining its worth. To accurately assess the value, we need to consider current market trends and recent sales of similar coins. Online platforms and numismatic publications can provide valuable insights into pricing dynamics. For a more precise valuation, consulting with numismatic experts or professional coin graders can be beneficial. Their expertise and experience can offer valuable guidance in determining the coin's worth. In conclusion, while the 1979 Liberty One Cent coin may not be as rare as some other coins, its historical significance and condition still contribute to its overall value. Whether you're a seasoned collector or a curious enthusiast, exploring the world of numismatics can be both rewarding and fascinating. This coin value in market $1 million. Thank you for joining us today as we uncovered the value of the 1979 Liberty One Cent coin. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more coin-related content. We're diving into the world of coin collecting to discuss the value of a specific coin, the 1980D Liberty One Cent coin. This particular coin, minted in 1980 at the Denver Mint, features the iconic image of the Statue of Liberty on the obverse side. Now, let's talk about its value. The value of any coin can vary based on factors such as its condition, rarity, and demand in the market. For the 1980D Liberty One Cent coin, in circulated condition, its value is typically around 1 to 5 cents. However, if you have a coin in uncirculated or mint condition, it could be worth slightly more to collectors. As always, it's essential to consult with a professional coin appraiser or utilize reputable online resources to get an accurate assessment of your coin's value. This coin value in market $1 million and that wraps up today's video on the value of the 1980D Liberty One Cent coin. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more coin collecting tips and insights. Thanks for watching. We're diving into the world of numismatics to uncover the value of a particular treasure, the 1990p Jefferson Nickel Coin. Before we delve into its value, let's briefly discuss its significance. The 1990p Jefferson Nickel, minted in Philadelphia, is a part of America's rich numismatic history, featuring Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States, on its obverse side. Now, let's talk about what makes this coin valuable. Factors such as rarity, condition, and demand play a crucial role in determining its worth. While millions of 1990p Jefferson nickels were minted, its value can still vary based on its condition. Coins in pristine condition, with minimal wear and tear, are generally more valuable to collectors. Inspect your 1990p Jefferson nickel closely. Look for any signs of wear, scratches, or discoloration. Coins in mint condition can fetch a higher price compared to those with visible imperfections. 
Now, let's explore the current market value of the 1990p Jefferson Nickel. Online resources such as coin collecting websites, auction sites, and coin dealer listings can provide valuable insights into its current market price. Keep in mind that the value of the 1990p Jefferson Nickel can fluctuate over time, influenced by market trends and collector demand. In conclusion, while the 1990p Jefferson Nickel may not be the rarest coin out there, its historical significance and potential value make it a worthy addition to any coin collection. This coin value in market $1 million. And there you have it, a closer look at the value of the 1990p Jefferson Nickel coin. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more coin-related content. Until next time, happy collecting! Where we delve into the fascinating world of coin collecting and numismatics. Today, we're going to explore the value of a particular coin that holds both historical and monetary significance, the 1961 dime coin. Before we dive into its value, let's take a quick trip down memory lane. The 1961 dime coin, also known as the Roosevelt dime, was minted during a pivotal time in American history. Briefly mention any historical events or context relevant to the coins minting in 1960. The 1961 dime coin features the profile of President Franklin D. Roosevelt on the obverse side, and an olive branch, torch, and oak branch on the reverse side now. Let's get to the heart of the matter. How much is a 1961 dime coin worth? The value of any coin depends on several factors, including its condition, rarity, and demand among collectors. As of the value of a 1961 dime coin can vary widely. A coin in mint condition might fetch a higher price at auction or through a reputable coin dealer, while a circulated coin may have more modest value. In conclusion, the 1961 dime coin is not only a piece of American history but also a potential treasure for coin collectors. Whether you're a seasoned numismatist or just starting out, exploring the world of coin collecting can be a rewarding journey filled with fascinating discoveries. This coin value in market dollar 61,000. Thank you for joining us today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content on coins and collectibles. We're diving into the world of numismatics to uncover the value of a particular treasure, the 1961 one dime coin. Before we assess its value, let's take a moment to understand the significance of the 1961 one dime coin. Minted during a period of economic growth and societal change, this dime holds a piece of American history in the palm of your hand. As we examine the intricate design of the coin, we can appreciate the craftsmanship and attention to detail that went into its creation. From the portrait of President Franklin D. Roosevelt to the olive branch and torch symbolizing peace and enlightenment, every element tells a story. When determining the value of a coin, factors such as rarity and condition play a crucial role. Coins in pristine condition or with unique characteristics command higher prices in the market. After conducting thorough research and consulting with experts in the field, the current market value of a 1961 one dime coin ranges from however, it's essential to remember that prices may vary depending on factors like demand and market fluctuations. This coin value in market dollar 66,000. As we conclude our exploration into the value of the 1961 one dime coin, we're reminded of the rich history and cultural significance embedded within these small yet precious artifacts. Whether you're a seasoned collector or a curious enthusiast, the world of coin collecting never ceases to amaze. We're diving into the intriguing value of a 1962 one dime coin. The 1962 dime, also known as the Roosevelt dime, holds historical significance and often sparks curiosity among collectors. Let's start by examining the appearance and characteristics of the 1962 dime, highlighting its design elements and any distinguishing features. Delve into the historical context surrounding the year 1962 and its impact on coinage production and availability. Explore the mintage figures for the 1962 dime, shedding light on how many were minted and any notable variations or mint marks. Discuss the importance of condition and grading when determining the value of a coin, emphasizing factors like wear, luster, and overall preservation. Provide insights into the current market value of a 1962 one-dime coin, 
considering factors such as rarity, demand, and recent auction results. Share perspectives from seasoned collectors or experts in the field regarding the significance and desirability of the 1962 dime within numismatic circles. Wrapping up, we've uncovered the value and allure of the 1962 one-dime coin, showcasing its historical importance and potential worth in the numismatic world. This coin value in market dollar sixty-five thousand. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating insights into the world of coins and collectibles. We're diving into the fascinating world of coin collecting, specifically focusing on the value of a 1963 one-dime coin. The 1963 one-dime coin, also known as the Roosevelt dime, holds significance both in terms of its historical context and potential monetary worth. The Roosevelt dime was first introduced in 1946, following the death of President Franklin D. Roosevelt. It features a portrait of Roosevelt on the obverse side and an olive branch, torch, and oak branch on the reverse side. The mintage numbers for the 1963 dime play a crucial role in determining its rarity and, consequently, its value. Like all collectible coins, the condition of the 1963 dime is a significant factor. Coins in better condition generally command higher prices. Certain variations or errors in the minting process can make specific coins more desirable to collectors, thereby increasing their value. As of the value of a 1963 one-dime coin can vary widely depending on its condition and other factors. On average, a circulated coin may fetch anywhere from while a coin in mint condition could be valued at whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out. Exploring the value of coins like the 1963 one-dime coin can be both educational and rewarding. Keep an eye out for these hidden treasures in your own collection or while out hunting for new additions. This coin value in market dollar 64,000 thanks for joining us today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more coin collecting content. We're diving into the fascinating world of numismatics to uncover the hidden value behind the 1964 dime coin. Before we jump into its value, let's talk a bit about the historical context. The year 1964 was a significant one for U.S. coinage as it marked the last year of production for the silver dime. The 1964 dime, also known as the Roosevelt dime, features the profile of President Franklin D. Roosevelt on the obverse and an olive branch, a torch, and an oak branch on the reverse. Now let's discuss what determines the value of a 1964 dime coin. Factors such as its condition, rarity, and mint mark play crucial roles in determining its worth. The condition of the coin, graded on a scale from poor to mint state, significantly influences its value. Coins in better condition tend to fetch higher prices. Although millions of 1964 dimes were minted, certain factors, such as errors in production or low mintage numbers from specific mint locations, can contribute to its rarity. Keep an eye out for the mint mark, located on the reverse side near the bottom. Mint marks indicate where the coin was produced and can affect its value. Look for coins minted in Philadelphia, no mint mark, Denver, D, or San Francisco, S. As of the 1964 dime, an average circulated condition can be worth its silver value, which fluctuates with the market price of silver. However, coins in better condition or those with unique characteristics can command higher prices. So, there you have it. The value of a 1964 dime coin goes beyond its face value. Whether you're a collector or just curious about numismatics, keep exploring and uncovering the stories behind these tiny treasures. This coin value in market dollar 63,000. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more coin related content. Thanks for watching. We're diving into the world of coin collecting to explore the value of a 1965 one dime coin. Before we get into the value, let's quickly touch on the history of this coin. The 1965 one dime coin, also known as the Roosevelt dime, was minted during a time of transition in the United States. It was the first year of production for the copper nickel clad composition, replacing the silver composition used in previous years. Now, let's talk about its value. The value of a 1965 one-dime coin can vary depending on its condition, rarity, 
and demand in the collector's market. Since these coins were mass-produced for circulation, they are generally not considered rare. However, there are a few factors to consider when assessing its value. The condition of the coin plays a significant role in determining its value. Coins in uncirculated or mint condition typically command higher prices compared to those with signs of wear and tear. While the 1965 dime is not inherently rare due to its high mintage numbers, certain varieties or errors could make specific coins more valuable to collectors. Demand from collectors can also impact the value of the coin. Coins with unique characteristics or historical significance may be more sought after, leading to higher prices. As of a 1965 one dime coin in average circulated condition can be worth around face value or slightly higher. However, Coins in mint condition or with unique features could fetch prices ranging from a few dollars to several hundred dollars in the collector's market. I in conclusion, while the 1965 one dime coin may not be the most valuable coin out there, it still holds historical significance and can be a valuable addition to any coin collection. If you happen to come across one, be sure to examine its condition and any unique characteristics it may have to determine its potential value. This coin value in market dollar sixty two thousand. That's all for today's video. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more coin collecting tips and insights. Thanks for watching and happy collecting. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of coin collecting specifically focusing on the Washington quarter-dollar coin spanning from 1776 to 1976. Now, you might be wondering, what makes these coins so special? Well, not only do they feature the iconic image of our first president, George Washington, but they also hold historical significance as they were minted to commemorate the bicentennial anniversary of the United States. But beyond their historical value, many collectors are interested in the monetary worth of these coins. So, let's dive into that. First off, let's talk about the general value of these Washington quarter-dollar coins. Now, like any collectible item, their worth can vary depending on a few key factors. Condition is crucial. Coins in mint condition will obviously fetch a higher price than those that are worn or damaged. Next, rarity plays a significant role. Some years or mint marks are harder to come by, making them more valuable to collectors. And finally, demand. If there's a high demand for a particular coin, its value can skyrocket. So, let's break down the value range of these Washington quarter dollar coins. On the lower end, you might find circulated coins ranging from a few dollars to around ten dollars, depending on condition and year. However, if you're lucky enough to stumble upon a pristine, uncirculated coin from a rare year or mid mark, you could be looking at a value of hundreds if not thousands of dollars. Of course, it's essential to do your research or consult with a professional before determining the exact value of your coin. And there you have it, folks. A brief overview of the value of Washington quarter dollar coins from 1776 to 1976. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting, these coins offer a piece of American history that's truly priceless. This coin value in market $1 million. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more coin collecting content. Until next time, happy collecting!